Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Today, we're going to be talking about expensive carts and carts that are a little bit on the cheaper side, all right, ladies and gentlemen, but both of them are supposed to be doing the same exact thing. I'm going to be trying them both out and really seeing if the price point it makes the difference, you know? Is this really worth the extra bucks or am I okay to just spend like 17, 18, 19 beans on something like this that I have right here? So both of these are supposed to get me completely schmacked and we're just gonna go ahead and hop straight into it but before we get started make sure that you're subscribed to the channel have turned on the post notification bells and leave a fat thumbs up to help it with the algorithm so the cheap cart that we're gonna be going with today and in my personal opinion this is the cheapest route to go because with this one even if you buy the cart itself you still have to go out and buy a battery whereas this one right here it's a disposable so it's all in one and you don't have to be spending the extra bucks so this is the cheapest overall the one that I have here for today I have two different flavors it's gonna be D9 from the brand called 86 we got jelly jam and we also got doughboys both of them sound pretty fire but let's just go ahead and hop straight into it do a couple of unboxings for these test them out and really get to know the product itself right ladies and gentlemen so like I said these right here ran me around like I think it was like 19 beans after I used a discount code and not only that but this could get shipped straight to your door right ladies and gentlemen so that's the cool part about these right here and not only that but I did mention that this is a disposable so you don't have to be spending the extra money on going out and getting a new battery or even a pod system all right ladies and gents so this is what the packaging is looking like it comes sealed right here that way you make sure that no one touches your stuff now what I'm looking for if you guys see me looking down at my desk I'm trying to look for some freaking scissors because these right here it doesn't have a little like tear mark you actually have to grab scissors to go ahead and crack this sucker open I got this cracked open and this is what the disposable is looking like it's looking pretty freaking sick now I believe that this is a part of their cloud 9 series so let's go ahead and stop wasting any time and just go in on our first ever hit all right so I personally when it comes to lower priced items you know it could either be really good or it could be really bad you could get the best bang for your buck and you know really why would you have to spend two three four times the price of this one to get a better cart I guess we're gonna find out today all right let's go ahead and go in on our first puff Okay. A little bit of like a gel, for sure like a jelly type taste, but the thing with the only thing with these type of like disty pods and carts and stuff like that is that you guys already know how it goes. You know, you got your disty, you got your terpenes and stuff like that. And that's pretty much all it is at the end of the day. And sometimes in my opinion, the terps can be a little bit too overpowering. Sometimes the terps cannot really taste exactly like the strain name. Now this right here, I am getting a sweetness. I am getting like kind of like a jelly type, like preservative type smell and taste to it. And so far this, is, I mean, it's not tasting too bad, all right? I definitely have had worse experience with other brands that cause just as much as this one if not a little bit more and they're really not the wave right but off of the first initial puff it is a bit like you know smooth it, the only thing that kind of caught me off guard off the rip was actually the taste because at first I really couldn't pinpoint accurately describe what it was actually tasting like so we're gonna go ahead and set that one to the side and let's go ahead and crack open the doughboys which is a combination of jungle scout cookies and g6 right so let's go ahead and see how this one's tasting. And then after we take these puffs, I'm gonna break down how I'm feeling. I'm gonna break down the overall taste, the rating factors, all of that good stuff. And then we're gonna go in and try to see what why is this more expensive right the pine trees right here it is does run a little bit a bit more expensive actually i think it's at least two to three times more the price but the difference is that this right here is a actual like regular just um disty and terp pen whereas this one right here is a cured resin one so everything is like just straight up from the plant itself you don't have to be adding any extra terps and stuff like that you're just gonna get straight taste off of just the straight oil that's in there already so let's go ahead and set that to the side. I actually got started to get cotton mouth right there. Let me go ahead and take a quick little water break for the boys. Set that to the side. 
And let's go ahead and see how this one was tasting, which was the Doughboys. And so far, the effects are definitely starting to creep in. It is pretty, it's a pretty nice smell of feeling so far, but let's go ahead and see if we could boost it a little bit more with the third to fourth pull. Ooh, that one was a little bit more pleasant. It had a little bit of a, I don't know. It has like a crazy earthy, like a tad bit of minty on the background. Definitely a very like unique flavor profile to this one for sure, right? But off of those three rips right there, it's definitely starting to kick in and it's definitely starting to just mellow me out giving me a little bit of cotton mouth. The flavor, it was pretty decent. It's not the best disposables that I ever had, but they're def, I mean, guys, you guys have to remember that this is probably one of the cheapest disposable cards that is out right now. Now, inside of here is a total of two Gs too, so it's like, you really have to put that in per into perspective that you're getting two Gs at a total of like 19 to 20 beans if you're using a discount code. And overall, for it being the cheaper one, you really are kind of getting a bang for your buck, all right? So let's go ahead and set that to the side. The overall rating for that, I would probably give it at a, at a good 7.0, you know? Or yeah, 7.0 is a pretty decent fill just because of the fact that even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the taste, the effects are pretty prominent on the pens, all right? So let's go ahead and dig into the second one. And since I'm not too schmacked right now, we'll know that this is like really, really good if it actually elevates my overall feeling, all right? So like I said, let's go ahead and break down why this one right here is a little bit more on the expensive side or a little bit more on the pricier side. And that's because it's some cured resin, some fire stuff by Pine Trees. They use local batch flower they're a very very limited small batch company and they can kind of when you're a small batch company company like that you could actually literally just like charge whatever you want I mean in the flower scene there's companies out there that literally make small batch flour and they're charging ridiculous amounts for the ounce right for the half ounce they're charging upwards of thousands of dollars for the half Ounce. So you guys heard me right, the half ounce, all right, ladies and gentlemen, and um, it's pretty freaking crazy. So when it comes down to like cartridges and rosin and stuff like that, it's pretty similar. So what you could do is like you have something small batch and it's actually fire and it's something that cheap people want to chief on. You could literally price it at whatever you want, but they're not price gougers. They're trying to, you know, give good stuff to everybody. And this one right here ran me a little, I, I believe it was a little bit upwards of like 50 or something like that for the G. And um, Let's go ahead and test it out right here, right? Obviously with these, you definitely wanna use them at a lower setting, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this at a 2.3. Actually, they might even go down to a 1.8, but obviously since these are so thick, you definitely wanna give it a little bit of a preheat setting, and um, I'm honestly still feeling the effects of the 86, so that right there definitely deserves a good solid 7.0 at the end of the day. Let's go ahead and see how the pine trees is hidden. Damn, barely got any clouds right there. But, off of the small cloud that we did get, that right there, ladies and gents, was just like fruity, like a little bit of sweet terps, earthiness, pininess, and <laughs> I can already tell, like in terms of the taste difference, this is gonna, I'm gonna be leaning a little bit more towards this one right here, but like I said, it's not discrediting the fact, like you guys really have to remember that we're doing like an expensive versus cheap, and for the cheap to still be coming out strong, it says a lot of good things about it, right? So let's go ahead and go in on this hit right here, and let's go ahead and see how much more flavor we can bring out of it. Wow, subtle clouds, but you really, really don't need much. I might turn this up just a tad, or actually I might just need to get this a little bit more warmed up, right? That might just be the case with this. The oil's so thick, you definitely have to like break through it a little bit. And, um, but off of that second pull right there, a little bit more cloudage, more flavor for sure. And I definitely feel like the entourage effect is starting to kick in. Now, obviously with the regular D9 and stuff like that, you're not gonna be able to get that entourage effect. And if you do, it's gonna be very, very minimalistic. Now with these, with the 86 and the, the, the Cloud 9 series, I believe inside of here, they even have a little bit of rosin mixed in there to boost the overall entourage effect, but it might not be enough to just give it the full on effect, right? Just, just enough maybe, just enough, right? So let's go 
we'll keep hitting this and break this down a little bit more. We'll get into the final ratings because, and then we'll, we'll tell you guys why I personally think that, you know, both of these are pretty worth it at the end of the day. Oh yeah. It's crazy how like good this tastes. This one tastes like, like straight up a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of sweetness, earthiness, OG, and you really are getting the best of like the plant. You know, this really, really tastes like the plant itself. It tastes fire. And honestly, I'm not really complaining at all. Like this right here, I, I'm super, super satisfied with the taste of this. And pine trees, in my personal opinion, from the stuff that I've tried from them, they're very, very valid, all right? Now, let's go ahead and break down the differences between both, all right? So obviously, I personally prefer the taste on the pine trees a little bit more because it's a little bit leaning towards more the flower side, but it is a little bit more on the pricier side, right? Whereas the 86 Cloud 9 series, it's cheaper, it still gets you smacked. It has a pretty, uh, like a decent taste to it for what it is, Disty, right? And it, in my opinion, it's well worth the buck. It's well worth it for sure. And I just feel like where this gets me, where the pine trees gets me is just the fact that it's small batch. They're using super fire flour. It, like this stuff sells out in literally seconds, minutes, as soon as it drops. And um, that's what it is when it comes down to more expensive products. You obviously get a lot more, a lot more out of it, I guess you can say, you know, a lot more of the experience in terms of the flavor, in terms of the overall feeling, because the entourage effect on the pine trees is definitely a lot more prominent. And um, it just gives you a better overall body to head feeling, right? Whereas these right here, this definitely is like just a good pen when you're out on the go, going to work and you're just like with the homies, whatever the case is, you're gonna be smacking pens all day and or you just live with relatives and stuff like that and you really can't have the house like like stinking up. I definitely feel like the pine trees would probably stink up the room a lot more. Whereas the 86 Cloud 9 series, it really wouldn't stink up the place too much. You feel me? And if it does, it's gonna be a little bit more on the sweeter side, a little bit more on the just like flavorful fruity side. And um, yeah, man, but like, like I said, both of them are great in their respective category for what they offer. This one is a lot cheaper and it does what it's supposed to be doing. And this one right here is a little bit more expensive and it gives you a little bit more of an entourage effect and a little bit more of that flower taste, right? But at the end of the day, like I said, they're both good in their respective categories. This one, if you're on a budget, and this one right here, if you're feeling a little bit more on the bougier side, you feel me? But yeah, you really can't beat them both at the end of the day. Both are pretty freaking solid. And I, I really can't say who's the winner though. I really can't say because like I said, we, we must have to give it a tie in terms of like what they offer in their respective category. Both get you smacked, both do the job, and they're both like, you know, this one's a lot cheaper, this is a little bit more expensive. But at the end of the day, they both do what they're supposed to do. And with that being said, ladies and gents, if you guys enjoy, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here because I mean, there's no clear winner. I feel like I'm gonna have to leave it up to you guys down in the comments below. Who do you guys think is the real winner for today's battle, all right, ladies and gents? Would you rather go with the cheaper one that gets you smacked or would you rather pay the little bit extra bucks to get something that tastes a little bit more like flour and that gives you a little bit more of that entourage effect? With that being said, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a fat like to help it with the algorithm, turn on notifications, all that cringy YouTube stuff, and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.